First open back in 2012. We're live inside the cavernous Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the San Francisco Giants and the Miami Marlins. Stay tuned for Marlins baseball next. Chris Sale gets the starting assignment for the fish in this matchup. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Now in the box, Joe Pennick. He'll get us started in this one Joe under the lights. Pennick. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Swing and a little blooper to center. Rosario coming on. He's not going to get to it. So the leadoff guys aboard with a base hit. At the plate, Brandon Crawford. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a knee-high fastball. Guys, this Marlins ball club, as they begin play here tonight, they come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Matty, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side. Panic gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And this is swung on and missed as Crawford is set down on strikes one away. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. Danny, any thoughts? Well, I'll tell you, Joe Panic is someone I'm excited to see. He leads the team in on-base percentage, and we all know that's become a highly valued stat in today's game. He makes things happen for his offense, and a lot of times, when he's going good, the lineup is too. Striding in, Buster Posey. And you see what he's done in recent action. Obviously seeing the ball well right now. Miami, Miami, Miami. From the stretch. A cold strike on the inside corner. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Hey, behind the dish, d row Larry Bullard. Pretty standard guy, works it. The only problem, I think, at times, hitters have a little bit difficult time. He'll give a little bit on that inside corner and outside corner. Not very consistent. Yeah, but Larry's approachable. That's the one thing. If you turn around and say, is that as far as you're going on the outer half, he's usually going to tell you. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Off the plate at 94, 1 and 2. Runners on first with one down. Swing and a ground ball to third. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Andrew Suarez gets the start for San Francisco in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy pitched really well in his last outing, only allowing one run. If he brings that kind of stuff to the ballpark, he has a chance to pitch another gem in this one. Coming to the plate now, Luis Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Second baseman, Luis Arias. First pitch on its way. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. Guys, you take a look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty, we had eyeballs on yesterday's game. They were able to win that one. They're playing really focused right now. And if they execute like yesterday, I don't see any reason why they don't win today's game. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. We have a moment here in Miami to take a look at the Marlins' starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matt, I think they really need their number seven hitter to turn it around. It just seems like something is off at his swing. I don't know if it's timing or he's not picking up the ball, 
Maybe he just needs a day off. He just doesn't look right. Up next from Miami, Eddie Rosario. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Let's go, Miami. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Crawford into shallow left. Two down. Batting third. First baseman. Garrett Cooper. So striding in, Garrett Cooper. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. First pitch of the at bat. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Two out, nobody on. Behind Owen Two now. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Line shot to third and the side is retired. Miami down in order and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Now at the plate Brandon Belt and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Brandon Belt. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole. 0 and 2. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Popped him up. Cesar on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Miami Marlins. And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five. Fewest errors in the league. Flashing the leather, picking and grinning. Keep an eye on them. They play stout defense. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Lifetime against Chris Sale. Comes in with six hits in 38 ABs. 15 strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Oh, A bit high great. there. A ball and no strikes. No score here as we play inning number two. Back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off the torrid starts, some guys struggle. This is one that struggled, but maybe that single gets him going. So that brings up the outfielder Austin Slater as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike. He'll come into this one with an average way down at 235. One home run and seven driven in. Chopped weakly to the left scooped up to second for one but one's all they were ever going to get and the inning will continue. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Well, when you get a ground ball in a double play situation, you always want to turn it. But that was a tough hit to do it on. You don't want to rush and make a mistake and get no out. So that was a good job to at least get the runner going into second. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Slater is off of first with two away. He took something off of it there. It's one and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. The one two is a fastball taken high for a ball. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. 
two out with the man at first. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One left for San Francisco. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready now. Franz Reyes. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Franz Reyes. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Duggar is right there, one down. Time for a look at the San Francisco Giants on defense. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. Here's Nelson Cruz now. Here's the first pitch to him. Owen oh, won the count. I oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Still no balls and two strikes. The 0-2 once more. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes He's the out. throw to first. Cruz is retired. Two down now. In now, Nick Gordon, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch on its way. Little dribbler down the line. And he'll smartly just ensure that this stays a foul ball. A one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a line drive. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Well, this was a good start for the pitcher. First five guys, five up, five down. But the number six hitter proved to be a little bit more difficult, and that's a bullet hit. Yeah, absolutely right there, Dan. Just a nice A-B by the six-hole guy. After watching his first five brother and take a seat. Into the box now, Tucker Barnhart. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Let's go, Marlins! One and one to Tucker Barnhart. Suarez has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends Steal. to eat up innings all by himself. That's a strike to throw down. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Bottom of the second here with no score. swing and he went around says the home plate umpire pretty forceful about it too and the inning is over one left for Miami will move to the third with no score and that'll bring up Steven Duggar and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year here's the pitch 
bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Hey, I don't care what league you're in, American, national, if you're playing on Mars, if you get a heater down the middle of the plate as an eight-hole hitter, you better be swinging the bat. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. Swung on and missed, it's 0-1. Third inning, no score to this point. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. There's a called strike on a fastball up in the zone. We're seeing more of that from pitchers nowadays. With the launch angles, guys are looking for the ball down in the zone. If a pitcher can pitch up in the zone like that pitch right there, you can go ahead and make some hay. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Digging in for his second at bat, Joe Pennant. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Dribbled to the right side, but it gets foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Panic behind a ball and two strikes. The M.O. of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We play two and a half. No score on the show. Digging in now, Randy Cezanne. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a fastball chop foul at the plate at strike one. Now here's the pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So one gone now in the Nine inning, and it's a good time to pull up our upcoming schedule as you see what's on tap for the Marlins in the next seven days. So here now is the pitcher, Chris Sale. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Come on there. Come on. The wind up and the 0-1. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Duggar giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. The batter, number two, second baseman, Luis Arias. So coming to the plate, Luis Arias. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Way in front of a great slider that time. When you're facing a guy with this many pitches in his repertoire, I say throw everything out. 0-2, he's sitting fastball. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. 
stays alive still 0 and 2. Bounce to first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. One two three go the Marlins. We'll head to the fourth still scoreless. Here's the shortstop Brandon Crawford. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure Matt that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Throw to first in time one gone here in the fourth. Good pitch right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and bunch him up and an easy ground ball as a result. Here's Buster Posey now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. And he lays off here. It's a ball and a strike to the Giant backstop. In there, one and two now. All right, let's take a step back right here. He's down one, two, three fastballs in a row. There is no way he's throwing them a four. Two balls and two strikes to the Giants catcher. Now a swing by Posey, and this one's on the ground to short. And that's the second out. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Here's the first baseman Brandon Bell. Fly down in his first at bat so it'll make him 0 for 1 so far. And he'll start the at bat with a slider that didn't miss by a whole lot. It's ball one. One ball and one strike to the Giants first baseman. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. One and two now. Pretty late with the swing there. As a pitcher you have to recognize that and keep coming in with the hard stuff until he proves he can hit it. The one two. Is laid off for ball two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Giants down in order. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Riding in once again, Eddie Rosario. So far, only one with a flyout. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Big curveball swung on and missed 0-1. He's getting a lot of first pitch outs, and it's really easy to see why. He's been perfect. 100% of his first pitches have been for strikes to hitters so far in this one. Crawford is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting, third baseman, Garrett Cooper. Digging in to try it again, Garrett Cooper. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Rip toward the gap in right. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll pull into second with one away. 
Boy, after that base knock right there, Devo, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. And, ooh, I'm not sure you can get fooled worse than that. It's 0-1. Hey, he gets a pass right there for that ugly swing. He's been having a monster season. Take a step out of the box, regroup. He'll get right back in this A.B. Now a pickoff play at second, and he'll get back in standing. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, I thought he was going to work around them right here in this situation. But after getting two swinging strikes, there's a change of game plan. I guarantee he's going right after him. Struck him out. The right fielder, number 23. Nelson. Stepping in, Nelson Cruz, runner in scoring position with two guys. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. When we come back, Evan Longoria will start things off through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. He'll start off the fifth in this one. First offering on its way. And that one just missed outside. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitches to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Hit hard on the ground to second. Arias right there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And we find that this pitching staff currently leads the NL in that department. So that brings up the outfielder Austin Slater. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And the changeup is way low that time. Fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Oh, inside. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. I like what he was trying to do there with the two seam fastball, but that's a tough pitch to come in. When you throw it glove side like that, it's really tough to get it to come back to the corner. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Next to bat for the Giants, number 26. And, Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three-up, three-down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business. But I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. The 2-0 on the way. He swung on and missed in that strike one. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. 
Giants are down one, two, three. Halfway home, still no score. Into the box now, Nick Gordon. He singled his last time up. The touchdown, Nick Gordon. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Duggar's there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now battle. After it. Tucker Barnhart. Stepping into the box. Tucker Barnhart. He got called out on strikes his last time through. First pitch of the at-bat. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on the first, takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Into the box, Randy Cesar. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. Soft rounder left side. Up with it is Longoria. On to first, and can you believe it? A three-pitch inning. And just like that, the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. Five innings complete, and we still have no score. And that'll bring up Steven Duggar. Leading off for San Francisco. Here comes the first pitch. Number six takes a knee high fastball. The wind up and the 0 1. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Standing in now, Andrew Suarez. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at-bat here at strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. And he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. That's 10 strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Here's Joe Panic. One for two in the ball game thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Oh, man. He's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. That's on the inside corner to put him behind here. Nothing in tune. Oh and two here it comes. And that one stayed up a little high. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Here's another one two. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Giants down in order. We are still scoreless. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Chris Sale. Wide out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Oh, just a miserable effort there. It's 0 and 1. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. Hey. 
And he falls behind 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Count remains at 0 and 2. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there. But if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down. Maybe even potentially bounce the next one. Line drive to center field. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. With that, the Marlins get a good start to the inning with their leadoff man aboard. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. In now, Luis Arias. Lying to the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat really well. And after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at. So you can say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit. So there's a lot of positives going on right now. First offering on its way. And he fouls this one off. Sale at second. Arias on at first with nobody out. Rosario behind with an 0 and 2 count. Hey, sped him up, slowed him down, got him down 0 2. I think he could pretty much go anywhere right here. I'd be surprised if anything misses over the heart of the plate. The bunt attempt is popped up. That's a foul ball. Not a great at bat, and he's down on strikes for route number one. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. and deep to right center. Duggar will range to his left and put it away. Two down. And in the end, the tag appears to have been a bluff. He's back to second. Well, number 32. From Ready for another shot now. Franz Reyes. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Line towards center field. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Marlins strand a pair. Still no score. Welcome back to South Florida. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. And guys, seventh inning already? Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. A swing and a shot hit down the corner and that nearly broke our tie but instead it's a foul ball maybe too much break on the slider two and one well that's a good pitch but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that that's that big sweeping slider if he was a little closer you might get a swing and maybe trouble the foot as Crawford's aboard here with a base hit so a good start to the inning for the Giants. Lead-off hitters aboard. Nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Fastball, middle cut, places it right back where it came from. Now with the plate, Buster Posey. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Here's 
here's the pitch. He swings and misses. Throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. So they still haven't picked up an extra base hit in this one, but that stolen base at least gets him a guy in scoring position. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what the manager was thinking there, Matt. Hey, if we aren't driving the ball with any authority today, we need to make something happen in a different way. They only need a single to the outfield now to push a run across. Now a ball lined to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right there, guys. When it's tight like this one was, it looks like a fastball off the plate then darts back at the corner at the last second. Locked him up completely with that one. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Bell. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. And no one can corral that one. Base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. Boy, those have to feel really good, D. -Row. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. And in fact, there will be no throw as he loses the handle there on the transfer. Let's get the out here. And misses wide. One ball and one strike. Hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, D Row, to make sure that gets through and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Austin Slater stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Called strike 0 and 2. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Stepping in now, number 26, as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. One run, five hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. Giants will have to be content with just the one. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami. San Francisco leads this one, one to nothing. Here's Nelson Cruz now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First delivery to him on the way. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. behind 0-2 now. The wind-up and the 0-2 pitch. Popped up. A dive and he knocks it down. 
And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, Dero, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. Time called here as with the potential time run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Into the box now, Nick Gordon. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Ball and no strikes. Here it is. Here's a strike. I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make him pay if he puts too many more pitches in that location. In the dirt. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. The one two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. The one two. Hit to short. And there's out number two. Tucker Barnhart. Stepping into the box, Tucker Barnhart, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Here we go. This is lined to left, and that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Bottom of the seventh inning will go at least one plate appearance deeper after the two out hit. First number 13, Randy. So a crucial moment here in standing in, Randy Cezanne. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. He's set and the pitch. Hot shot down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Marlins lead one. They trail this one one to nothing. Victor Mesa will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Now playing right field, number seven, Victor Mesa. Ready for another chance, Stephen Duggar. No hits to this point. First pitch of the at bat, number six, and that one just missed outside. Tough slider down low for a strike. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. That ball's 
And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Travis Darno come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Travis Darno. Now a slider and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. They haven't gotten much going against this guy so far in this one. He's been pitching well. And one of the key numbers to look at, first pitch strikes over 70% so far in this outing. Behind 0-2 now. A pause and the 0-2. And that one stayed too low apparently. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner. And I mean just off the corner. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one. And there's the evidence of it right there. 1-0 our score. And there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Settling in now, Joe Pennant. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. A check on first by Sale. And a dive, but he's back in there. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Come on, Marlin. Throw over to the bag, and he'll dive back in. Here's the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Duggar, base runner at first with one out. A ball and two strikes. Well, he's throwing a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Mesa is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The well, batter number 35, shortstop Brandon Crawford. Here's the shortstop Brandon Crawford. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. First pitch on its way. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Fouled off. Hit on the ground to short. Reined in. They'll go the short way to retire the shot. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Giants one and the Marlins nothing. Will Smith is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 13, Will Christian Optimus will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. It's a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to open their half of the eighth. You can't ask for anything more than getting a leadoff man on right there. It brings the go-ahead run to the plate. He's in position to do some damage. It'd be interesting to see how the manager plays this one. Time called here as 
as with the potential time run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. And now they've got him in a rundown. Poor base running there. Got him caught the hot box between first and second. And they will tag him out between first and second. I think he was going first pitch. First movement all the way. And apparently the pitcher knew it too. Caught him leaning. Standing in now, Luis Arias. No balls in one strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Number 26 is there, and he'll bring this one in. The Giants are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. He was on point from the get-go this evening. Ready now for the Marlins. Eddie Rosario. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Popped up. Longoria is there for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Four pitches, all it takes to do in the Marlins. It remains 1-0. Ah, the famous neon lights of Ocean Drive in Miami Beach. Welcome back to baseball on the show. Tyler Kinney enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now at the plate, Buster Posey not providing much out of the three hole in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. The 0 1 pitch. Sweet. Behind 0 and 2 now. Still no balls and two strikes. Kinney. A native Floridian. This is the first year of his new four-year contract. Hey, I know multi-year deals can be scary, but this guy is in the prime of his career right now. I expect this to be a win-win for him and the ball club. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. last time up here comes the first pitch and there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner bases are empty one man out Aye. now a fastball for a called strike it's one and one liner toward right center but this will hang up long enough for the center fielder to run under it as he makes the play for the second down. At the plate, Evan Longoria. Last time through was a base hit. 
becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. In for strike two. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Reyes is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Giants are down one, two, three, but they're up one to nothing. Kelvin Herrera, if the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Kelvin Herrera. Standing in, Garrett Cooper. He's going to lead things off in their half of the night as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Here's the first pitch to him. To short. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. So it's a leadoff single that kicks off their half of the ninth. Boy, this has been really frustrating. They're piling up the base hits, but they can't seem to get that one big knock to drive some runs in. Yeah, and this can get frustrating for a team. Doesn't matter what your batting average is. The bottom line is W's and L's, and they got to find a way to get some runs. Time call here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. In now, Franz Reyes. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Oh one, here's the pitch. And a whiff at a good slider that time. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? There's another slider. That's back to back good sliders. And this guy's breaking ball is really good. And when he's throwing it well like he is, and he's confident with it, he can throw it three or four times in a row. A really good slider in this one. All right, builder, number seven. Victor. Mesa. Coming to the plate now, Victor Mesa, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Pitch on the way. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up, and it's one and one. Two things pitchers really love: called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about that jam right there. That's about as good as it gets. Hit out towards second. panic has got it. Throw on to first will be in time, and the Marlins are now down to their final out of the game. The batter number one, shortstop. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nick Gordon, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Couldn't wait back, a swing and a miss. Let's go, Nick. 
And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. He's got it. And the Giants have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A 1-0 game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. And that one run held up tonight, 1-0 the final. San Francisco jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Andrew Suarez wins his third of the season. Chris Sale racked up 15 strikeouts but still ends up taking the loss. Kelvin Herrera hammers down the save his fifth of the year. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Giants. One run, five hits. No errors. They left five men on base. For the Marlins, no run, eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 20 minutes. A reminder that Marlins shuttle buses are available outside Marlins Park with service to the Comer Metro Rail Station.